Hello anybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Crusader Kings 2! That's right, I'm back with another episode of Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I just realized, or I just found out anyway, that uh, I'm going to be putting out these videos daily. And while you're watching this, I'm in Florida right now, uh, so that's a thing that's happening. Uh, so you're getting this daily, hopefully you guys are liking it, I don't know. Uh, but uh, this is a series that has to go up daily. Anyway, um, in the last episode, we did some crazy things. We killed a baby. I don't know if we, like, we, we, uh, well, actually, I'd probably get Kinslayer. If anyone found out about that, I would get the trait Kinslayer, which would make, uh, vassals totally hate me. But, uh, that's not a big deal, because we didn't get found out. So, uh, we killed our little, uh, I guess, it, it's kind of our, I guess it is our granddaughter. It's, it's just straight up our granddaughter. And we killed her. Uh, we killed our granddaughter. That's a thing that happened. Um, and now we're just sort of uh, waiting for a truce to end with uh, with these guys. I think after this old hag dies, uh, we are going to inherit this county, or it'll it'll just pass into our kingdom. I think. Mission to Rome has so far been a success. Ballin, our the Pope fucking loves us right now. That is great. Like, how much does the Pope love us? Pope is at a hundred. This Pope is a baller. He is with us. We're just keeping the Pope happy all day long. Uh, my little word, Jakob, has, he's always has his nose in the scriptures. Uh, his nine-year-old, uh, he's gonna be the new Duke of Kildare. Um, gains the trait Zealous, which would mean increases martial skill, or uh, cannot raise the, the trait. Yeah, no Zealous for you, buddy. That seems really good. I don't want a good marshal to uh, have my have my successor uh, up against. We will not be raising a zealot in this household. Our knowledge of uh, tolerance uh, increased. That's interesting. So we could probably set something new here. We could increase our cavalry. I guess we might as well. Fuck it. Why not? Go for it. Let's do it. Typhus has broken out in Leon. Oh man, that sucks. There's more typhus down here. But that's okay. If this guy has to deal with things, he's got to deal with things. You know? That's, that's fine. Um... Now, what we're hoping for is either to get our young 20-year-old wife pregnant, or um, we're hoping for, uh, you know, the ability to... Uh, oh, God, it's auto-saving. Uh, we're just waiting for the ability to go to war, which I think it should be soon, right? Like, when when can we declare war? Claim a toll. Uh, April 5th. So on the 5th of April, we will be doing stuff in Atoll, which is great. And then afterwards, I guess I'll probably hold a grand hunt, which would be a nice thing for the end of my life, uh, after I take some things. Uh, Charitable Lord Isaac gives his to toy to the Smith's son. No, fuck that. You're not gonna be charitable, bro. That ain't happening. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want you to get charitable. I would much rather gain the trait greedy. Um... Yes, minus one diplomacy. He gets more money, which isn't good, but that's cool. Uh, sadly, Jacob has become greedy. I guess I could jet my purse every day now. Okay, well, that means that that dude's probably going to try to steal from us. But hey, that means that we might be able to imprison him later and take his land. Uh, Duke Sinead of Ulster. All right, I can do that. Why? What's his plot? What's your plot? Uh... How do I see... I go to his plot here, right? Um... Well, I don't know why... Why can we imprison him? Because... Alright, whatever. I'll just imprison him. I, I don't know why. Okay, well... Duke Sinead... Evidently is going to war with us. He's got a lot of troops. Unfortunately, we're going to have to fight this war... Uh, before we do anything in Scotland. Uh, I'm going to send a sub-Irish army down here uh, to deal with things, and these guys could probably handle... Oh, these, this guy... Why is he at war with us? What did, he, what did I do to you, bro? Alright, so evidently, we actually need to send some troops up this way into Connacht. Uh, sort of... Maybe. Oh, oh, pause, pause. Why won't it pause? It wouldn't pause. Okay, this is not good. Oh, luckily, our vassals are duking it out with each other. That's fantastic. I like to see that. What? Did I merge these? Merge. That's that's what I wanted to do. Duke Arzur is no longer Chancellor. He's dead! 
Duke Arzer, the Duke of Brittany, is no longer our chancellor. Which, I mean, that sucks, admittedly, uh, because he was he had really good diplomacy. But uh, he is no longer the Duke here of Brittany, meaning that there might be some kind of succession war. No, now it's Duke Eduards, who is uh, pretty cool with us. He's a young lad. He's got two male children, so there's really nothing that we could do intrigue-wise to him, uh, unfortunately. That's okay. Uh, we have a big army here. We'll aid our vassal, or at the very least, we'll be able to, um, you know, mess him up a bit. Uh, Countess Belladora is asking us to deal with an assassin assassination attempt in our realm. Um... I will grant her a claim on the perpetrator's titles? Okay, she's the County of Nantes and the County of... Alright, well, hey, if we get a new... Yeah, here, have a, pl have a claim. By all means, bro. Where are these 2,000 people coming from? Scotland? Why is Scotland fighting us? Why are we at war with Scotland? Does he have allies in Scotland? Are you really allied with Scotland? No, he's not. How the butts... How the butts does this guy have Scottish forces aiding him? Alright, well, we're gonna deal with this. He's gonna arrive in Argyll on the 6th of August. We're gonna arrive on the 30th of July so we can win that fight. Uh, we're going to get more troops to reinforce over here. Which is cool. Uh, our siege went well, I think. No, our siege... Oh, we don't have enough troops. Alright, well... I'm going to leave a small band of forces here, uh, just to make sure... Oh, I can't make a new unit out of this? That sucks. Well, you know, we could just get... No, actually, disband. Who's got Who's got a small amount of forces? Uh, what do you got? You got 2,000. These guys have some strong armies. Okay, 951. You, get, you know what? If I'm going to raise vassal uh, feudal levies... Might as well raise a big army, huh? And, uh, we'll get these guys out dealing with... Oh, God, we gotta get them out dealing with a lot of things, I guess. Um, well, we'll have enough troops with our own men here. I, I, you know, as much as possible, I wanna... Oh. Okay, for some reason, I'm at war with Scotland. I don't know what happened there. I don't sh see a war or anything, so I don't know what the deal is. Uh, and it's also not showing that I'm at war with him, so I don't know why he's like an enemy combatant, but, uh, I suppose we'll find out. We won the Siege of Dunstaffna? Alright, whatever. I, I, look, I have no idea what's happening. I think our... Oh, okay, he wants peace. I guess the Scots dealt with us. Uh, so Duke... And I lose under the Siege... And what do I gain out of this? Opinion of Dukes and Aid? No. No. I don't I don't want to lose 100. Do you think you're winning, bro? What do I get if I enforce demands? If I enforce demands, uh, he loses 100 prestige. He's imprisoned. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and decline that. Uh, sorry about that, bro, but uh, we are not dealing with that kind of nonsense. We have freaking 3,000 men ready to fight us right now for some reason. I don't know what the deal is there. Uh, he can't siege that. Can you siege this? Is there a way to tell? 889. Okay, yeah. So he won't be able to. But if I split out some forces here... Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's enough. Uh, we'll keep them there. We'll keep you guys going there. You guys can go there, and that's fine. A daughter was born. You know what? A daughter's fine because she is my bloodline. I'm okay with that. And you guys can chill. And you guys don't even have enough? How many do they have? 2,000? How many do these guys have? 871. All right, so we're going to go there, I guess. Um, and then I guess we'll deal with... The God, they have 8,000 men! We're not even at war with them! What? Is it this guy? Are you at war? Oh, man. There's a du jour war over Galloway. Well, if he wins, then I... Oh, I see what's happening here. Because this guy's at war. Oh, that's real bad. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta end this war right now. I did not even realize this, but I, like, I need to end this war. Immediately. 
I need to end this war before Scotland ends the war, because if Scotland ends the war, then basically they... Alright, so that means that we're playing for keeps. Because basically... Wow, really? That's how all the troops you have? You have nothing either. You don't have anything either. And he's got nothing either? It, I, what, what's happening here? Alright, here's what's happening here. We're getting another force. And we're sending him here to Galloway. Hopefully, we can end the war before he ends the war. Uh, basically, what happened is this guy came out in rebellion because his liege is Duke Sinead of Ulster. And that's Scotland's opportunity to attack for Galloway. And if they get it, then, you know, we're kind of bummed. We're kind of boned. Like, he, he just gets it because this guy decided to declare independence. But if we end the war, then, uh, then it's fine. Then it's, then it's no skin off our back. We're cool. Um, because we can, we can deal with it. Uh, and this guy is defending against Dukes and Eight of Ulster. Well, I don't know why he's there. Whatever, that's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, and we'll just keep this war going, I guess, uh, to deal with this guy. Check hunger, yeah, hunger bites. Okay, that sucks. Uh, more troops. That is fantastic. I love seeing more troops. Uh, yeah, it was as good as been all the time with the priests. Uh, zealous? No, I will not reuse a zealot because that's a good trait, and I don't want to give him that. He, so now we know what we're up against, by the way, in Scotland. Because we're up against seven thousand men or eight thousand men. Oh man, he's he's assaulting the walls, but he's failing, which is great. He knows what he has to do, and I know what I have to do. Uh, victory, good. One siege down. And two sieges will be down in a second here. Uh, you drag Levens. Okay. Levens Leon. Evidently. Um, I don't know why the siege stopped here. We won. Or, like, it looked like we won. But somehow we didn't. We're not getting... Okay, I, are we sieging these properly? Because for some reason it's not showing the occupation, Dilio. Yeah, no, we're sieging him, it just doesn't... Okay, that kind of sucks, actually. Because I think that means that I didn't notice. Yeah. Good, so for some reason, the game did not show me that... Uh... Ugh, God damn it. The game didn't show me the occupation lines, and I didn't notice until now. I don't know why that happened. Oh, because it doesn't show it in direct vassals? Why would it not show it? It shows it in everything else. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, we had to deal with that, and we didn't. Um, damn it. So, Galloway is now part of Scotland. That sucks. Earl Vend. Okay, well, actually, we have two council positions that we have to place. Blathmark, the guy that was in jail for us uh, for a long time. And uh, who do we have, the mayor or the earl? Yeah, definitely put the mayor in there. Oh, man, I, I'm so bummed. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe that can't believe I did that. I let Galloway pass. Oh, that was a poor decision on my part. Poor move on my part, rather. Okay, so we're succeeding here. We succeeded there, or we're continuing to succeed anyway. We'll end this war, but it really was not a good fight. How many troops do we need? 1464? So let's... I said, let's... No. Get out of here. Merge. Let's split out a new unit. Um, no, that's not good. How about him? No. Him? I need to have 1464 men. I don't think any of these are working. How many is that? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to let them gain some forces, I suppose. How about a pat in the head, and he gains the arbitrary trait. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm okay with that. Erna Verna has usurped the title County of Pufudufudufudufudu from Tur. Oh my god! Can you read that? Anurin of Anurin's host has usurped the county of Per Fed Wulad from Tudwer Ap Edwin. Goddamn. God damn. Like, seriously. 
I need to point out to a heretic is one of your advisors? Oh, dang it. Who Who's a heretic? Uh, good. This guy. Okay, so I'm going to appoint a new chancellor, evidently. Yeah, okay. That guy already hates me, so whatever. He's just gonna keep hating me. Hey, we just have to wait. Okay, how about this? No! No! What did we lose? What are we losing? We're losing- What the hell?! What- Who am I defending against?! Who is this?! Are you kidding me?! Oh my god, this is absurd. I didn't even realize that that was happening. Okay, well, fine. Then what we're doing is raising all the vassal levies. And, uh, we are going to be fighting these guys off, evidently. Uh, and these guys are gonna go where they're gonna go. Alright, we have to win. You realize that we... Yes, he enforces demands. Okay, so now this war should be over. Man! This is... I enforce demands, right? Okay. So now this guy can't freaking... Oh my god, damn. Okay, essentially, what was going on there... <laughs> May your humors rot in your living body. I accept your offer of peace. You had to just throw one in, huh? Alright, everybody can go ahead and disband. Oh, God. Only... Alright, well... I know you guys can stand down. You guys can disband. You stay here, and you... Yeah, you should be able to disband, too. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. You guys can disband. Okay, and you guys... Oh, you have to get out of Galloway. Ugh, I can't believe that we lost Galloway during that. That was dumb. Essentially what happened is because these guys were technically independent, uh, other people had claims on this land, and Scotland had claims on that land, evidently. And uh, they, uh, they lost it, essentially. Uh, Mayor Edgar of Moray... Mayor Edgar of Array? Moray? Who's going to war with this guy? He's defending against Duke Farraquhar. Wow. Okay. The Duke is uh, taking a toll. Which is good and bad. I think... Um... Okay, so we're definitely going to go ahead and declare war on... Uh, on the Duke Farraquhar? Do we have to declare war on Duke Farraquhar? Oh, you know what? We could get away with... Hmm. If we're really, really smart and really fast, we can nab Clydesdale off of King Malcolm. But you have to be really smart and really fast. Okay, we're trying it. We're trying it. We're doing it. Here we go. The oh, we can't. We, we don't have any... What? What levies raised do we have? Okay, apparently there's... Le oh, there's levies down there. Right, I uh, forgot that I raised vassal levies. Okay, uh, anyway. So let's go ahead and declare war on uh, this fella. And claim the de jure claim on... Clydesdale. Right? Is that... Is that... Yeah, that's way better. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna take Clydesdale... Does your claim on Clydesdale? Let's do this. Now we have to be really quick and really strong. So we raised all levies. All the levies have been raised. And we're converging on Clydesdale. And the reason we're converging on Clydesdale is because we are going to be assaulting these walls. Is going to be our goal. Vassal levies raised too long, evidently. Well, too bad, bro. Hold on a second. I just realized I have some levies here that are going to go ahead and disband. Because I don't have enough forces. Okay, so we're going to merge them all. Uh, and we are going to assault the walls. 
And hopefully we'll be able to assault and take this city out real quick. We're basically doing the same thing that uh, Scotland and the other dude did to us. Is we're attempting to assault and take these cities quickly. Okay, yeah. Assault. And hopefully we did a good job. Oh, god damn it. We lost the assault. God damn it. I can't believe we lost the assault. No. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, so we're going to go ahead and disband all our forces, actually. And then we're going to raise them all again. In a second here. You guys can disband. And hopefully they can get back to Clydesdale and have enough forces that they can actually um, stand and fight. Pope Felix has lifted the excommunication on Countess Belladora. Whoa! I didn't know she was excommunicated! That's good to know. That is good knowledge to have, uh, evidently. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Intrigue advances Siege. Hopefully we can win this war before the end of- Oh, come on! Why are you defending? Because he wants to keep the land. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Things have gone horribly awry. We're going to have to buy some mercenaries. But that's cool, because we've literally saved so much money uh, on our car insurance by switching to Geico that we do not have to worry about spending money on mercenaries. Um... Yes, we will hire them. These guys seem good. Uh, and we'll get them going up there. And now if we need to, we'll just go defeat the other dudes. I can't believe we're at 4%. This is absurd. Yeah, see, they're fighting amongst themselves. Which I knew is going to happen. Let's wait for the victor, I guess. And then we'll kill the victor. Kill the loser and the victor, I guess. This passed to a different hand now. This guy is totally independent, apparently. Okay, that's good to know. Arrive in Carrick. Alright, let's let's kill them in Carrick, I guess. Where are they going? They're going to Clydesdale again. They're going to the Isle of Man, whatever, man. That's that's cool. Uh, we'll just keep killing dudes, I guess. I was inspecting, uh, the damage to the highest tower in Leinster when the head of Jacobo, or Jacob, rather, uh, appeared outside the window 50 meters above the ground. What should I do with the curious child? Curiosity never killed anyone. Yep. Has been injured. He gained the wounded trait. Fantastic. If that kid dies, uh... Yeah, if that kid dies, I get the land, I'm pretty sure. That's good. After, of course, his father dies as well. Alright, we're just gonna let... We're gonna siege some more, is what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this siege go on, because these guys are just fighting amongst themselves in Ireland, which is kind of shitty. These guys can siege? Wow. Okay, evidently, not a lot of defenders there, is what we're learning. Okay, victory here in Clydesdale. Evidently, we have to war with all of Scotland. I have no idea why the guy decided to war with me. Wait, whoa, 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 hey, pause, pause. I want to pause. For the love of God, I want to pause. Okay, who is this? Uh, gains the county of Clydesdale, except. Yes. Okay, so it didn't work out quite as I had hoped, because essentially, except I can do this now, right? Oh, okay. Now we can actually take Galloway back, which is nice, because we can just go ahead and declare war, does your claim on Galloway, and we have no problems with breaking truces, because uh, we don't have to worry about any of that kind of nonsense. So we'll just uh, keep this siege going. I realize that we're holding too many lands in our domain, but that's fine for right now. Uh, can't think of all those prisoners in my dungeon. Fuck it. Oil up the rack. Fuck that guy. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I killed him. 
<laughs> so, the uh, Duke of Canade. Oh, wait, which one? Which Duke was that? All I know is a little boy. There we go. That guy, probably. Who is his dad? No. I don't know. I don't know. Someone was ruling. Actually, I'm the heir, huh? How old is he? 11? I'm gonna try to kill him. Because I would get the land. Um, how rich is it? Not that rich. But if I kill him, I get the land. I get to put it amongst whoever I want. But I, I don't think I would give it to anyone that I want right now anyway. Except he really doesn't like me. So I guess I'll kill him. All right, I'll kill the little boy. Fine. You know, you guys, you guys, you love your killing. We'll uh, we'll kill away. Uh, we'll send our spy master out. Oh, we need to appoint a new chancellor. All right, you'll be our new chancellor. Our spy master has to uh, build a spy network here. Make sure this kid dies a little bit quicker. I actually don't think that we're gonna have the plot power to defeat this child or kill him rather. Uh, an intriguing scheme, I will believe... Yeah, okay, good. So someone's going to join the scheme to kill that little boy. Uh, Mayor Ularg has bribed a hunter, taking Earl... Which is sitting in the trip in the woods to dispatch the child and make it look like an accident. Wow. That was very quick. All right, sure. They don't call it... They call it the wilds for a reason. All right, so he's dead, and I inherited the county of Ossery once more. Very good. Uh, success, the hunter did his attention uh, and made sure the Earl Christian never returned from the hunting trip. He will keep quiet, but his ghastly deed to save his own skin, if nothing else. So, looks like the Earl of Ossery is dead, a little boy. Uh, to hunt a man is truly the greatest sport. You know, when you are able to command all the lands by yourself, uh, you know, you don't really have to worry about much, do you? Which is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Anyway. Oh, fucking piece of shit. I knew that was going to happen. He just offered vassalization to uh, to King Malcolm of Scotland again. And now I can't declare war with him, right? Oh, well. If I declare war on him, we have another truce, yeah? Yep. We have a truce until 1167. So, unfortunately, we might have gained Clydesdale, but we did, in fact, lose Galloway kind of a bummer. I wanted to take out Galloway as quickly as I could before he decided to, uh, you know, offer vassalization to, uh, to Scotland, but, uh, I don't think he was gonna let me do that anyway. Uh, now, these guys, however, whoever was the head here, can I declare war on this dude? Yeah, I can claim all these things, but for different people. Uh, his liege is that dude, okay. I can declare war on Gwent for Duke Lone of Munster. So all these guys have claims on Gwent. Hmm. Intriguing. Oh, I'm not sure. I guess I'm really kind of hoping that my... Oh, hey, I have a boy! I have a boy! Unfortunately, he can't be named. I wish I could change his name. Is there any way? No. Character doesn't have a Wikipedia link. I could kill him. <laughs> That'd be a bad idea. All right. Well, unfortunately, I don't think there's much else we could do. We could probably take out Norway if we really wanted to. Uh, we're losing 10 gold a turn, which is kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, there's nothing that we can really do over here either. I, I don't know. Is this Norway as well? This is Norway, huh? Yeah, King Bard of Norway. Wow. All right. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't know if there's anything else that we could do with this standing army right now. Uh, we can't. We could theoretically go to war and get truce breaker, lower all Christian rulers' opinion of me by 25, and I will be considered a truce breaker minus five diplomacy for five years. However, I'm 62. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway, right? So why not just do it? I think that's what I'm thinking right now. Is I could just do it. I could just break my truce. Oh, I could claim all of Albany. And that would give us two counties. As opposed to, uh... The Duchy of Albany. Yeah. 
Or I could just... Oh, I could claim Scotland for someone else. Press all claims? What was that? Huh. Didn't know I could do that. Uh, I can do the de jure claim on Galloway, but I don't really want to do that. We could claim Scotland, but not for ourselves. Um... So I think we claim Albany. We claim Gowry, we claim Atoll. I think we claim Albany and get two counties out of it. And then worse comes to worse, you know, we... If we... Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I do things here. If we win the war, uh, gains the county of Atoll, gains the county of Gowry, gains the duchy of Albany. If we lose the war... So it's not pressing the weak claims. Oh, weak claims do not count. Oh. So we would gain the county of Atoll, Gowry, and the Duchy of Albany. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we're doing that. We are so doing that. Yeah, we're getting a truce breaker, for sure. But we have forces. We have stuff to deal with all of this. So I think that's fine. So we're going to raise all of our troops here. Worst comes to worst, we could always uh, raise more mercenaries right now. Uh, so why don't you guys go join up there. Soen is no longer the steward for Alpaca Patrol. That sucks. Soen's dead, evidently. He probably got, like, mur- Whoa, pause. He probably got murdered or something. In all likelihood. Uh, oh, looks like Ireland has that land, too. Go into the Isle of Man, huh? Interesting. So we need to get a new steward real quick. Now hopefully, I can get all these lands, and if I do that, then I could probably get the Kingdom of Ireland, uh, in all honesty. Ooh, Broen Mayor of Wexford. Apparently doesn't like me. I think all Christian rulers aren't too pleased with me being a truce breaker, but you know what? All the Christian rulers can suck it, is what they can do. Alright, you're going over there. Uh, hopefully we just have to take out his armies in the field. We're actually already winning really hard, which is great. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. Alright, so let's go ahead and go in there. Let's go to Atoll. Um, hold on a second. I don't think I need anything. Yeah, let, let's just murder these guys, because we, we gain, we gain a lot of war score from killing dudes. Uh, failed Sally by the Defender, okay, that's good. Victory. Right now, we're just trying to claim all this stuff. Um, word has reached me that an ambitious adventure Lubert is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory? Who the hell is this guy? Really? Really? Marshal of Bruges is going to attack me. Alright, whatever. Uh, is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory? I think of assassins. Okay. So, then... That means our... Spymaster. Oh, here's a thing that we need to do right now. Uh, well, I guess it's not that big of a deal. We'll deal with it later. I don't know. Whatever. Well, our, basically our king is actually uh, at war right now, which I do not like. But hopefully it's fine, because I, I think it's gonna, they're gonna have a hard time. Hey, my wife, Julianne, is pregnant. Huh. That might lead to some serious problems uh, coming down the pipe here soon for uh, Quill. I'm really gonna try to get hold of Eleanor. She always has some sort of excuse to get away. She ignores me or even hides from me. Is that my wife? Yeah, it's my wife. Well, that sucks. You're pregnant. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I would imagine that she's not doing. A, you're not doing a good job of really trying to. Uh, get in touch with her, considering you're off fighting a war. Here's a question. Is there anything happening in Brittany? No, doesn't look like it. I'd have to imagine that the guy who's trying to attack me, or uh, trying to attack my territory, is probably going for Brittany. Uh, the crew is going to blame to death. Okay, yeah, they're starving to death. That kind of sucks, I guess. Uh, dangerous factions. Oh, no. Earl Ding Dong for Brittany? Come on. Earl D Oh, come on! They named another one Ding Dong? He's part of my blood- uh, He's part of my dynasty. He's not part of my blood bloodline. Like, he's not part of my direct bloodline. He's part of my dynasty. Oh my god. Who's your- Who's your parents? Earl Mailbridge. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. 
That's not good. Alright, well, I guess we'll deal with that when the time comes. Mission to Rome so far has been a success. Yeah, the Pope loves me. That's good. Hey, here's what we can do. Dangerous factions. Who's, uh, who's leading this faction? This dude? Duke of Brittany? Well, let's request excommunication. He won't do it! The Pope loves me! Why won't he do it? Positive opinion of Duke. That sucks. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing that I could do about that. A son was born. A son was born. Well, Quill's gonna have a tough time, but, uh... The, the great son Quill shall lead this... <laughs> this kingdom of Brittany. Oh man, he is gonna have a tough time. He is gonna have a really tough time. No, no, pause, pause, pause. Measles have broken out there. Okay, good. Victory there. Fantastic. Uh, let's get these guys moving over here. Get these sieges going. I think we should be good like so. Hopefully these sieges will succeed before these factions become a problem. Mmm, they apparently have... <laughs> they apparently have a lot of strength already. Um, but I have money. I have a lot of money. I have so much money. Order them seized. Two people eloped got married without anyone's consent except their own, and it falls to me their liege to either accept the marriage or do something about it. So who got married? My courtier and... Morgans. I don't... They don't hold any land. I don't care. Accept their marriage, sure. That's cool. Whatever, bro. Siege lengthens. This guy's actually sieging. Raise local levies. Okay, blow was struck. That sucks. That one of the local nobles might be corrupt. Handle it wisely. The information might, uh, okay. Use it as you see fit. My wife is dead? Wow. Whoa! Whoa! Apparently a mayor killed my wife! Well, that's shitty. Hmm. Okay, I have a feeling that everything's turning to shit. Well, no, actually, my vassals don't hate me that much. It's pretty interesting. Alright, we're gonna have to send these guys in. I know they're at half strength, but it should still be okay. Okay, good. Dangerous factions. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. He's got some big men, too. I might have to deal with that soon. Um... Vassal levies raised too long. I don't have any vassal levies raised, do I? This guy? You just showed up, bro! Alright, here. There you go. Now you can go home. You happy? There you go. Disband. Have fun. Go crazy. You wild and crazy kids, you. We're getting all the shitty events really happening right now uh, to stop our sieges and stuff. Kind of a bummer. But basically what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to siege some of the cities. Paradoxically, a siege camp is right for bandits. Okay, that sucks. Uh, attacking troops take 1% losses, but we should be able to occupy another part of Ireland, which is good. Or another part of Scotland, rather, I'm sorry. Um... Oh, God. Someone else declared war on me. Lubert of... Lutbert of Lutbert's host has declared war on Lutbert's conquest of Ulster on King Alpaca Patrol of Brittany. Well. Uh, that is quite the event. In fact, it's such an event, I think that might be the end of this video. I assumed that I'd die in this video, but evidently, I was incorrect. Uh... It looks like there is some sort of great war going on here. I don't even know who I'm defending against. Oh, I'm defending against multiple people? No, I'm just defending against this place right now. Or like, I'm not defending against this place. I just Someone is coming from the sea 
and they're going to try to kill me. So I guess that's what we're going to deal with in the next episode, and hopefully deal with this whole Scotland situation, because theoretically, uh, we should become the King of Scotland in the next episode, which would be pretty cool. Uh, we'll get back all these lands, which is nice. Uh, and then we have a bunch of factions and horrible things going on that we'll have to deal with. Or perhaps our very young son, Quill, uh, might have to deal with. And immediately afterwards, our wife is dead. So that's pretty crazy. And we have to get a new spy master. And we have to get a new marshal, who's also dead. Basically, this is... We're coming to the end of my life. This is the departed right now. Everyone is dying. All right, you could be my new spy master, Jakob. Jakob, the guy who I have been training, and have been training to give him awful skills. Oh boy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. It. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is the next part of Crusader Kings, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.